Okay, so uh, I would like to uh, talk about uh, this uh, joint uh, uh, work uh, with uh, three colleagues from uh, uh, Italy who are, well, they are in a, in a physics department, uh, so they are probably rather mathematical physicists. Um, anyway, um, so they are, they come from another community, uh, so let me show you. Um, they def define themselves more or less uh, as algebraic quantum field theorists. Uh, I will try to explain uh, a bit what uh, that means. In any case, that clearly uh, is close to, to stochastic quantization, for example. Um, the, the, the roots uh, are uh, also in, in the literature of the, the 60s, the 70s, like, uh, I don't know, the book by Glim and Jaffe, etc. But uh, uh, the, it's a kind of another branch of that, uh, of that uh, word of that big uh, tree or forest, uh, and uh, it is l less uh, probabilistic and, and more analytical. Uh, although uh, this is called the algebraic quantum field theory, I will try to explain that the, the main focus is rather on, on analysis. In fact, in, in both areas, uh, the notion of renormalization uh, is very important. So both, I mean, uh, our word uh, of, uh, uh, say, singular SPDs, uh, uh, and and uh, and theirs, and uh, so we we began to discuss uh, because there was clearly an interest in understanding uh, each other, and uh, uh, okay, this is the the first uh, result of these uh, uh, discussions. So uh, just a quick uh, uh, review of of what uh, we are talking about. So um, I, I mentioned that this. Uh, 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 literature of the of the 70s in fact in the 80s uh, some uh, uh, theoretical physicists uh, like Giorgio Parisi, Gianni Ionazzini and others uh, started to use SPDs uh, in their models for quantum field theory and uh, so the one we know uh, maybe best uh, is uh, the, this uh, uh, phi say, uh, 4D uh, model uh, where we, you have a, a white noise Xi, uh, which is a Gaussian random distribution on, on RD characterized by, for example, this uh, Laplace uh, transform. Uh, so, of course, usually we discuss rather the parabolic equation, but uh, uh, for some reasons, for exa example, because you can avoid the, the scaling, uh, the parabolic scaling, the elliptic version is also uh, uh, a, good, uh, a good starting point. Um, for example, for, for d equal 4, uh, you just uh, <laughs> do this in, in R4 or, or in the torus or, or dimension 4. But this corresponds in the parabolic case uh, uh, to uh, the space dimension equal to 2, because the, then the, the time dimension counts uh, uh, double. And uh, so, uh, for example, in, in this case, psi, the, the solution, uh, or the renormalized solution uh, better is expected to be a, a random distribution uh, with values uh, in uh, probably uh, at least a, a negative Sobolev space, but with a very small uh, uh, exponent. Therefore, we know that the cube of psi is defined, and this is what makes uh, this uh, equation uh, singular. So the very notion of solution is unclear, okay? And the higher the dimension d, the lower the regularity of, of psi, and therefore the, the worse the, the, the problem. I suppose that you you know you know this. Uh, of course, uh, in the last uh, uh, eight years at least, uh, so there have been many progresses in this uh, field, uh, and I'm saying again in the probabilistic uh, uh, side of, of this uh, discussion. And now we have. Uh, um, a proper no or even several proper notions of solutions. We have existence and uniqueness of, of such solutions, at least for a class of equations. And uh, so this is very important, uh, a non-perturbative uh, approach. So this has been one of the uh, main uh, um, uh, successes of, of, of this uh, theory. Okay, so what, what you obtain uh, is a, 
uh, really a random variable, a map uh, from Xi to uh, Psi of Xi, and the random variable uh, takes values uh, in the space of uh, distribution. So, so it's a, yeah, a random distribution as a, as a, as a an object. Now, given this uh, random object Psi, uh, one interesting uh, um, question would be how can you compute some useful uh, function? So the typical examples are uh, correlation functions of this form. So f of uh, x1, xn equal to expectation of products psi of x1, uh, etc., up to psi of xn. Now, there are two problems here. Uh, since psi is a random distribution, then first, f uh, may also be only a distribution, but this, in fact, uh, is not such a big uh, deal. We are, we are ready to accept that. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, the problem again is that uh, uh, products uh, of uh, uh, ran random or not distributions are in general ill-defined and therefore uh, what, what is F? So F is ill-defined. Uh, Of course, we expect that the expectation uh, may uh, improve uh, a bit the situation, but still uh, we cannot exclude that uh, uh, some um, some serious problems will, will remain in the definition of these correlation functions, not to mention the, the computation. Okay, so in some sense, this is what algebraic uh, quantum field theory can uh, try to uh, approach so not not the psi inside the expectation, but the function f uh, on on the left hand side. Okay, uh, in a sense, uh, physicists know uh, how to handle at least formally uh, white noise, uh, and uh, therefore they um, uh, expect uh, okay the, the behavior of this kind of correlation functions, and therefore they have a. a uh, developed a, a technology to, to study that. But, as I will show you in a second, in a perturbative uh, setting. For the moment, uh, they and, and, and we, so I include myself uh, uh, in this uh, uh, group, uh, although <laughs> I'm certainly not an expert of algebraic quantum field theory. Um, so it is still uh, uh, impossible to, to do the the, perturb, the non perturbative uh, setting. So, from this point of view, I would like to mention a, a recent paper. So it is it has been published in 2020, but it was already on the archive uh, since um, 2018. Uh, it's a an impressive paper by uh, Barashkov and uh, Gubinelli, uh, where they compute a uh, formula for the Laplace transform of the stochastic quantization uh, in dimension three, in the no, again, in the non-perturbative setting. So if you want, this is related to the solution to the elliptic equation in D equal to five, or to the solution to the parabolic equation in, in D equal to three. Uh, anyway, whatever method you, you use to, to construct the five for three, so this five for three is the object you looking for it, it is a di random distribution on on the torus so it's done in the in the um, bounded uh, case so the compact case so you test the, the random distribution against a fixed uh, deterministic um, test function you take the, the exponential and then the expectation okay um, this is a Laplace transform and uh, they have uh, a formula which is not particularly simple, but uh, it is a, um, a formula which is impressive because it does not uh, contain any, any limit operation. So you, you do not uh, uh, have a, a para regularization parameter that, that you have to, to say, for which we have to take a limit, etc. So it's really a, 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 a fixed expression, which in principle uh, would allow to to compute uh, any correlation function you want, but okay, in practice, this does not seem uh, simple. Uh, 
uh, and um, again there are certain technical difficulties etc so uh, I am again very much uh, uh, impressed by, by this result uh, um, although I think that uh, uh, what I'm going to tell you is uh, also interesting although it is again only in a perturbative setting but uh, it, it, it tends to to the, the aim of constructing a, a, a set of functions functionals which uh, uh, can be used to at least uh, hopefully approximate these uh, correlation functions okay so uh, let me go on so this is what we have uh, tried to do so uh, we have uh, considered the same equation uh, in the elliptic or parabolic case but so the, the perturbative uh, uh, point of view is visible in this uh, uh, red uh, parameter lambda which uh, had not appeared yet in my previous uh, slides and uh, uh, in some sense uh, perturbative here means that uh, you have to consider a Taylor expansion in, in this uh, small parameter uh, lambda. Um, now, as I, I, I wrote here, uh, this uh, algebraic quantum field theory uh, technique allows to, in principle, compute uh, uh, these correlation functions. Okay, so you remember so I, I am very uh, fond of this. So, uh, in a sense, so f is is deterministic. It, it is uh, outside the, <laughs> the expectation. Okay, while psi is inside the, the expectation. Uh, so we are uh, familiar with the, the problem of renormalization of psi, uh, which is a random object and which uh, is uh, inside this expectation. While um, algebraic quantum field theory considers the problem, as I said already, that uh, f also may be ill-defined, and in, in, indeed it is in general ill-defined, in the sense that uh, uh, there is also at the level of f a renormalization uh, procedure, there are ambiguities, and uh, um, this is what I'm going to try to, to describe, okay? So I, I sometimes I say that uh, here you have renormalization inside the, the expectation, you have renormalization outside the expectation. So the, the roles are, are somewhat different, but uh, of course the, the two problems are, are related. Um, yeah, so I think I said uh, all this. Now let me describe uh, uh, as simply as, as, as I can uh, the, the approach. So you, you write uh, the PDE in the formulation, in the MIDE formulation, where g is the green function. Uh, now you replace, uh, so g convolution psi uh, is also in fact a, a distribution, but uh, at least uh, you, you know uh, the law, so it's Gaussian, uh, you, you have a lot of information. So uh, for the moment you simplify in a sense the, the problem by replacing g uh, convolution psi with a c infinity function. So. Okay. Of course, this may look very, very strange, but le let me do this and then we'll, we'll discuss uh, that, uh, how to come back uh, to, to the, 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 sorry, the, the distribution setting. Um, now, of course, this has become a completely deterministic, uh, deterministic problem. Uh, you have a kind of PDE with a control, which is uh, phi. Uh, that's actually very familiar to rough path uh, uh, people. Um, now, how can this help to, to solve the, the original uh, problem? Uh, you can uh, write uh, a, a formal power series, um, forgetting for the moment about uh, uh, convergence. Uh, so some of my uh, friends uh, will be uh, very, very happy seeing me uh, writing su such, a, such a thing, uh, which I have always a bit uh, criticized, but uh, um, let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, so in fact, uh, now you can write, uh, so the point is that you can write uh, a, a formula, which is uh, essentially a, a recursive formula from 
say J2, uh, say, okay, uh, it's written down here, okay, so you can write a, a, a formula for the coefficients of this uh, uh, formal uh, power series, okay? All these functionals, F, J, are functionals of phi, because one, once you have uh, removed, uh, say, the dependence of lambda, the only remaining, uh, say, parameter is this uh, phi. And therefore, it's, uh, uh, so fj takes phi, which is a function as argument, and uh, takes values in uh, also uh, functions, okay, it's infinity functions. So it's a function from c infinity to, to c infinity. And it's a polynomial functional, in fact. Uh, why? Because, in fact, uh, again, the, the, the solution is essentially explicit. So you have F0, which is phi, F1, which is this, F2, which is this, and then you have a general formula. So you see these are polynomials in, in the, in the uh, parameter uh, phi. Unfortunately, again, we, we know nothing about the convergence of the series, but at least uh, this will give hopefully rigorous results if you consider derivatives of, of psi with respect to lambda and then we compute the derivatives uh, for lambda equal to zero okay uh, so this gives some information uh, okay now again so recall this is what we are trying to to do we are writing the coefficients of this formal power series uh, and we have a formula for all that so again, the series may not be convergent, we, we don't know. And uh, again, if we want to go back and replace phi with the, the, the original distribution, then uh, only F0 is well defined because it's linear. All the other ones are, are ill-defined since they contain powers of G convolution psi. So you, you see, uh, we are back to the usual problem of powers of distributions which are, which are ill-defined. Now, in fact, okay, uh, there is a, a way to to solve this. Uh, um, if if you uh, if you know uh, what weak polynomials are, then this is not so unfamiliar. Uh, so, uh, weak polynomials are an algebraic uh, object that you can associate with with any. Uh, now, this is a true random variable. Uh, random variable, actually, it's just a finite dimensional one, uh, but it's just to explain. So you, you can build a, a map on, on uh, polynomials uh, in, in K variables to polynomials in K variables, commuting variables, of course, here. There is no difficulty in this sense, uh, which satisfies uh, these uh, three properties. Uh, so you, they commute with the deri deri partial derivatives, if you want, and they center all non-trivial uh, uh, monomials. And these are called the, the weak uh, polynomial of degree n. Um, so this allows to define, uh, uh, so this map allows to define some deformed uh, products on, on polynomials. Uh, so you have two possible choices. So one is to uh, do that. So you, you, you compute the W, you take uh, the standard product, and then you, you take uh, the inverse uh, by W. Or uh, vice versa, first you inverse, uh, you, pro you multiply, and then you, you use uh, W. So for example, so the first uh, gives you on, on, on xi uh, times xj, so you sum uh, the covariance, while the second you subtract the covariance. Uh, okay, so all this is quite simple. Um, and uh, um, yeah, we, we have written a, a paper with uh, Kouros, Frederic, and Nicolas. Uh, on a hop algebraic approach to, to all this, uh, et cetera. Um, in fact, what we are going to use is, is this one, which is related to a, a kind of a formal uh, Chaos expansion. Um, so I'm going to show you in a second. So yeah, suppose that uh, 
you want to do this essentially in infinite dimension. So instead of a K uh, var variables, you already have a, a field, a random field. Uh, and of course now the index is not I, but it's X in the, the torus, okay? So then you can think of an analogous construction uh, when you have polynomials of your uh, uh, your field. So since uh, uh, this field is Gaussian, uh, then it is, and it's also centered, it is identified essentially if you know its uh, uh, covariance function. And uh, this function, so uh, you remember G was the, the green function of um, Laplace, the Laplace operator. Uh, this is in high dimension, well defined only outside the, the, the diagonal, uh, because G, of course, is, uh, is singular uh, uh, on, on the diagonal. So at least if D is small, uh, less than or equal than three, uh, which would correspond to, to space uh, dimension one in the parabolic case, uh, then, uh, okay, you have uh, an algebra of polynomials uh, of so of polynomial functionals, which is well defined, and uh, uh, so you, the covariance which I wrote here, okay, you see, is replaced here by the by the, the covariance of the um, uh, of, of the field, uh, but on the diagonal. So again, so this this is well defined uh, uh, only if uh, uh, Q is, is is well defined, okay. Why, if Q becomes singular, then uh, you get in trouble, and that's the point where this uh, renormalization uh, becomes uh, uh, important and, and even necessary. Um, yeah, so this is what I have just said. In fact, uh, D greater or equal than four, this expression is, is ill-defined, because Q is a proper distribution only if you remove the diagonal from your, your space. Okay, in fact, uh, there is a, a theory uh, which is called uh, so mi micro local analysis, which allows to find and characterize all distributions on the whole space which extend uh, uh, Q. So, this is the first step. Uh, you want to extend the Q to the whole space, and this will be possible, but the extension will not be unique, and uh, you will have. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, set of, uh, say, ambiguities, okay? You will have uh, multiple choices and uh, uh, the realization uh, consists in uh, choosing one of these uh, uh, extensions. Uh, and then you can also, uh, by the particular structure of, uh, of this uh, functional, uh, give a meaning to the restriction p hat of this extension, q hat on the diagonal, okay? So it is somewhat uh, curious. So you start from uh, q, which is defined everywhere outside the diagonal, and you end up with uh, one object, which is on the diagonal. Uh, okay, all this is uh, based on a rather um, strong and, and uh, okay, not so simple uh, theory which is mainly due to Hermander. And uh, so the, the main uh, uh, terms here are the waveform set, which is essentially the set of singularities uh, of, of the distribution. Okay, it's a bit more than that, but it is uh, related to that. And the scaling degree, which is uh, uh, somewhat what we call the, the homogeneity on, of, the, of, the, um, of the distribution. Now, in fact, uh, after this uh, uh, operation, okay, of extension and, they, and then restriction, we we have something which is uh, well defined, okay. And again, so this is like a, a formal chaos expansion. So we 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 start from uh, from uh, say x square, and, and we write this as uh, uh, um, a sum of uh, Elbit polynomials, more or less, uh, which will be also normal in a, in a, in a, in a L2 space, but it's formal in the sense that uh, 
there is so this is not a random it's so the the, the Hermit polynomial of order two, which should appear here, is replaced just by a uh, deterministic functional, uh, which uh, represents, in a sense, this Hermit uh, polynomial. And, and what is really relevant is, is this coefficient uh, here. So again, uh, this will not be unique. So there will be a, a family of, of such uh, products. And one can characterize all the possible uh, yeah, exactly. This is what I wrote here. So we have obtained existence of a well-defined renormalized product. Uh, and so this is just the first step. In fact, one can define an algebra of distribution valued uh, polynomial functions of, uh, of phi. And in general, there will be no uniqueness uh, uh, because there is uh, there are multiple multiple choices and uh, uh, but at, at least this can this uh, this multiplicity can can be uh, studied and uh, fully understood. For example, in this case, uh, two possible solutions will differ just by a, a constant. Okay, so let me go back to to my uh, initial problem. So this was the equation. This was the uh, series uh, which uh, is formal but uh, which is supposed to represent the, the solution these are the equation uh, the, sorry the, the the formula for the the, the coefficients um, but so this renormalization now is is necessary necessary to uh, replace uh, uh, phi uh, by uh, my random distribution and this is what uh, is done here. So you you, you write uh, the, the same objects, but uh, in uh, this uh, new uh, algebra, okay? Uh, now I, I write a hat, uh, meaning that everything here is, is in this uh, renormalized uh, framework. And uh, uh, so I, I consider this as my solution to the, to the, to the, to the problem. Uh, where now I have, in a sense, well, maybe solved the the the, the problem of phi being. Uh, um, so you see, it's not. Uh, how can I say? Uh, well, I can come back. So. Um, Again, phi is is deterministic, so it, it is a functional of a, of a, of a, of this uh, small phi, which is a C infinity function, but it mimics the properties of my uh, random field. Uh, and uh, so I will show you a formula in a second. Uh, it, it's okay. Maybe I should have written this. It is as if you you were taking your your. Uh, G uh, convolution psi, so this is your random field, and you add the uh, uh, phi, uh, which is uh, your, your uh, here uh, argument, and, and then uh, you take the expectation. So when, when phi is equal to zero, you are back to your original uh, problem. Um, and, and this is what all this is trying to, to, to compute. Um, yeah, and again, so, all, all these objects, uh, because of this algebra which has been defined, now make sense as uh, uh, polynomial functionals of phi with values in uh, um, distributions. And uh, uh, yeah, and again, unfortunately, this uh, uh, series is uh, uh, not uh, expected even to, to, to converge. Now, so this is the essentially conjecture still at this level. So suppose you, you apply the non-perturbative uh, uh, technique to solve uh, this singular uh, SPD, okay? But you have lambda inside. This, of course, can, can be done with uh, regularity structures, with the paracontrolled um, distributions, etc. And now you do, so I write again uh, psi hat because you, you do have to renormalize in, in this uh, context. 
and then you, you compute such uh, functional, okay? Uh, so you take some test function, and, and then you take the expectation, and then you differentiate in, uh, in lambda. So what I have um, told you uh, sh should give uh, uh, this kind of, uh, of expression, okay? So uh, you see here, this is what uh, uh, zero is the value of small phi, and uh, yeah, and then uh, okay, an analogous construction allows really to to write uh, just the the, the correlation functions of, uh, of psi hat. And of course, uh, uh, several questions uh, can arise here. Um, we have uh, sets of uh, renormalization constants in the two. Um, uh, words okay so inside the expectation or outside the expectation so can we can we match these uh, uh, constants can we understand uh, how they translate uh, into each other um, etc so again the uh, so the result by Barashkov and Gubinelli is in some sense uh, uh, more uh, uh, more impressive but uh, uh, Again, uh, I'm not sure that it is easy to extract, uh, say, uh, in, in information like, like this, or to, to, to compute uh, um, quantities uh, of this kind, uh, which on the other hand come, uh, well, I cannot really say easily because the, this uh, uh, construction uh, of, of this algebra is, is rather, uh, complex uh, from the analytical point of view, uh, but um, I think that I hope that both uh, approaches would be would be useful. Um, yeah. So just uh, this is my last slide. I, I just wanted to insist on the fact that uh, here, so this uh, wave from set and scaling degree are, are really analytical um, uh, objects, and that this theory by Hermander is uh, uh, really a, a, an analytic theory which uh, is which tries not only tries but uh, also succeeds to to consider this question which we know well so how can you uh, multiply two distribution so we, we do this uh, using uh, rough paths and uh, and all that so Hermander did not uh, consider at all this kind of setting, so he just takes two uh, distributions on, on Rd and uh, uh, has uh, sufficient uh, uh, conditions in order to, uh, to compute uh, the the pointwise product. Uh, okay, in the in the uh, what whatever this means. Okay, uh, yeah. So I think you you see what 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 that uh, uh, suggests and. Uh, you also see that uh, there is a, an interest in uh, understanding the, the 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 gap between these two two words. Okay, I stop here. Thanks a lot. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lorenzo, for this uh, nice talk. Uh, I have a first question because when going back to the smooth situation, I mean to a smooth approximation of the noise, we, you can exhibit some renormalization constants from those techniques and then uh, write down an explicit approximated equation just as we do in regularity structure. So, uh, Sitege, you, you want to uh, regularize the noise? Yes, and then write down the renormalized equation. Yeah, for example, here you say I take a uh, phi, which would be G convolution psi epsilon, something like that. Uh, yes, yes. And then get some renormalized term, one minus infinity somewhere. Is it... Yes, exactly. And uh, so, yes, exactly. And, and this should be the result after you have removed uh, the, the infinities. Exactly. So let, let me go back 
to this. That's why I put this slide, which is rather, uh, I think, uh, uh, um, clarifying. So the second product is the action of removing the, the infinities. Okay. And the first product is, is what is left. You see? So if I do minus C plus C, so the minus C is what removes the infinities. But this is implicit in the, in the construction. And, and, the, and the plus C is what remains uh, afterwards. And indeed, uh, it is uh, not always unique in the sense that in the renormalization uh, procedure, you, you may have uh, been obliged to do some choice. Uh, and therefore, the, the, you have Sorry. Yeah, okay. That, does this uh, answer? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, I see. Thank you. Uh, are there other, other questions or comments? I have a question for you, Lorenzo. So, please come. Great talk. So, I have a question. It's related to some connection with uh, 542 and 543, no? Because uh, usually, in some sense, you, are all, you also mentioned some dimension, no? And uh, it seems that uh, your renormalization are uh, some sort of weak type renormalization, no? Mm -hmm. You can see like that also or not? Yes, yes. So, okay. yes. So this, uh, but um, if you go, for example, 5 for 3, that will be probably equivalent in, in the elliptic, probably in dimension 5, uh, because you have a. Uh, in that case, uh, the weak uh, renormalization is not enough, no? So you need uh, to have sub, you have sub divergences, no? The, the famous, how these sub divergences arouse in this framework? Uh, so yeah, uh, so th this is, uh, okay, again, very good uh, question. Uh, uh, we did a prepare this. Is, <laughs> so this is uh, uh, included in, uh, sorry, where, where is it? Uh, it? It's included in this construction. So again, uh, what, what is the fact that uh, sometimes you have to use this uh, um, uh, so Taylor expansions, okay, uh, uh, renormalization, and, and and this is really uh, taken care of of, of, of that. Uh, okay, so in some sense, these uh, uh, some sense these uh, sub divergences are already taken care in this uh, analytic procedure and not. Uh, up more algebraic one exactly yeah okay. yeah to and be honest it is something that appears only at the level of the week because the other things are carried with the with the analysis is that yeah. correct okay exactly so in a sense uh, uh, yeah you're, you're perfectly right so my example with the week uh, uh, polynomial wanted to be pedagogical but it is in fact probably a bit oversimplifying um to be honest, uh, okay, my, my colleagues, uh, my co-authors are more expert th than I am, but I asked them, uh, and indeed, so they pointed me to the the, 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 the fact that uh, they, this is really done uh, in that uh, context. Although, again, uh, so this is the perturbative setting, so we are uh, studying only polynomial functionals, and, and therefore, uh, a part of the difficulty is, is um, say, of, of a lower degree. Yeah, but okay. I mean, basically, polynomial setting will be related to construct the model. No, in some sense, the polynomials are uh, some morally speaking. No, so in some sense, uh, you're able to 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 consider, let's say, the sub divergences to treat the sub divergences in an analytical way and to take care only about the the the, the analytic yeah. one stand or something like it that. It is, it is something like that. And uh, in, of course, the non perturbative uh, solution would be if the series converges uh, something like that, which is uh, clearly a, a non-polynomial function, because fj will be of arbitrary degree when j is, is, is uh, large. So one hopes to, to go back to a, a more complex uh, setting, but uh, okay, this is already complex enough, at least for, for me, for the moment. Thanks, Thanks Carl. I think Henri has a question, at least. Please. Yes, I have a little question. Uh, hello, Lorenzo. Um, it's, hello. Uh, it's a bit related to uh, Carlos' question. So is it, I mean, is there a criterion of like local uh, subcriticality that appears when you do the this analysis or? Yes, 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 yes. For example, uh, for 
543, we, we, there is uh, the computation in, in our paper of the fact that to construct the whole algebra, you need uh, only a finite number of, uh, of uh, renormalization constants. Uh, so we have not, it's not done in general for subcritical equations, but it seems that uh, also at this stage there, there is a clear analogy between the two words. Okay, thank you very much, Lorenzo. And do you expect those techniques to efficiently apply to other equations? Yes, yes. So, I mean, the algebra, again, it's like for, for uh, singular SPDs. In a sense, the algebra is kind of universal. So then uh, it only depends, uh, it does not depend on, on the nonlinearity, it depends on, on, the, on the law of, of the linear equation, in a sense. Uh, and, and this analysis, you can do it, uh, actually, at the perturbative level, you can put whatever you want. It does not matter. Uh, <laughs> so, no, here maybe uh, I am uh, taking too many risks, but so where is it? So I'm pretty sure that here you could consider other uh, nonlinearities, and all this would apply as well. Um, so what... Um, uh okay here i have myself a doubt uh, what what would be the subcritical uh what would it be important to have a subcritical equation i think that at least you see the the the, the expansion would hold uh, in any case for instance it does not depend on the dimension so you can do this in any dimension it is the same even if in high dimension the, the equation is not uh, subcritical uh, but then something has to go uh, wrong. Good question. Or a general question. I, I'm still in the process of understanding the, the, the paper that I have co-signed. Co uh, yeah, I think Peter has a question, Peter. Hi, Lorenzo. Uh, Hi, thank Peter. you for your nice talk. Uh, on this slide, uh, bridging the gap, you express these derivatives here. On the right-hand side, you have your f hat k, and you have somehow a recursive way of, of looking at these guys. Uh, can you use this relation to, to understand the growth in k? Uh, and then say something, you know, how this dependence in, in lambda is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess this does not uh, satisfy the sufficient uh, uh, criteria to, to have convergence of the series, otherwise... Uh, uh, so you don't yeah. believe it's analytic to you? No, 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 no. But still, you can understand somehow that the growth from these relations. Yeah, I guess, uh, yes. Actually, there is not... Also, this I think is a bit of a problem. It's not clear what topology you, you should consider, um, because uh, you, you see, I'm speaking about polynomials with values in distributions. So I'm not saying that the distributions are like Sobolev uh, base of uh, whatever, and also the polynomials. Yeah, um, I think that one of the problems is also uh, of, of topological nature. Uh, but if you fix the test function and you look at the left hand side, just the expected value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The dependence in lambda. Mm -hmm. You do not think that it's analytic in lambda, do you? No, I don't think so, no, but uh, I should check. Mm -hmm. The growth of the right hand side would give you a way to decide. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. Okay, Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I also have a question. Please. Uh, hi. So now, since my two brothers have asked a question, I feel like forced to ask another one. So, <laughs> <laughs> did you did you try looking at? Uh, I mean, maybe this is also in line with Peter's question. Did you try looking at some cumulant type expansion? So taking a logarithm instead, because somehow I feel like the cumulant should be easy to control in terms of growth, and this will also give you uh, yeah some radius of convergence for for the moment. So you, you mean uh, I should take here exponential of of ex expectation of exponential and then the log of the expectation something like that yes uh-huh 
No, I don't know. Uh, I, I, we didn't discuss this. I can. Uh, I should note all these questions. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is recorded. Okay, that's okay. I can. Uh, no, it's it's a, it's a nice question. Yes, you're right. So this may be. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Other questions? I cannot see any other raised hand. So, if not, then let. Thanks again. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>